Hello Capricorn and welcome to your full moon reading. Do you like the lighting, darlings? To say that I was excited that you're the final reading would be an understatement. Um, not that it's final, I mean that it's you guys. I'm, I'm literally excited to, <laughs> to do your love reading. Um, so I, it is the Scorpio full moon. It's a pink full moon. So I put out this beautiful hand carved pink rose quartz crystal that you can find in the crystal store for good luck. And you can also also find these beaded rings we have the hearts and the little protection eye and just a reminder Capricorn that this is a general reading you guys know you know the drill it's for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising and Venus it's a general reading it doesn't resonate with everyone and tarot and oracle readings are for inspiration they're for guidance and they are for entertainment and you my darling hold the power okay let's get down to business Capricorn. Go for it. <laughs> There's definitely this energy of, I'm feeling a sense of finality as well, Capricorn. It's just like short and sweet. Reconsider and take action. So double confirmation there to go for it. Um, reconsidering something. Angel card. Divine guidance, following your heart, following that which lights up your heart and not doing things out of regret, Capricorn, or out of, you know, feeling like, you know, that's your duty. It's like, you know, following that beautiful sacred heart. Okay, so you're feeling a little imbalance or, yeah, feeling like a decision was unfair here. And yet, yeah, an, an imbalance in emotion. Ten of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Reverse. Okay. So, Capricorn, what I have here is a new opportunity. This is coming out of a situation that was, you know, taking too much of your focus. There is a new beginning on the horizon, harmony being restored and generosity as well. Um, again, a symbol of complete abundance. This could be a complete windfall. You're going to be like thanking your lucky stars. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles is just like, oh, this is so good. Feeling, um, feeling quite good about yourself, which is very nice. Feeling like you have everything you need, which is, you know, wonderful. Let's get a, a message from your person here. Okay, someone's wanting to come in with an offer. Brand new offer. It's all about passion. It's all about love. Um, it's exciting. Um, it's very emotional connection. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> not only is this cup full, it is overflowing for you, Capricorn. <laughs> Feeling that, okay. Five of chalices in reverse. So, you know, there has been a time of reflection and I do feel like instead of focusing on the negative, you're now focusing on the positive. You've left something to rest. This could be the healing of an old situation. It could be sort of like a sense of forgiveness here, or it's just you going, you know what? Those cups weren't for me anyway, and I'm moving forward to fully grasp these real deal, you know, not just plated gold cups, but gold through and through. <laughs> You know, not the crystal that was grown in the lab. I want the crystal that was grown over billions of years. <laughs> now I've turned into a pirate. <laughs> Out for my booty or my treasure. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Ace of, <laughs> Ace of Pentacles reversed uh, as an obstacle. So, if feeling... <laughs> Maybe don't get a little too greedy here, Capricorn, <laughs> with this treasure is what I'm getting from this because I do feel like there's quite a lot of you know, <laughs> abundance and goodness and offers and opportunities. So maybe, you know, Ace of Pentacles as an obstacle is like, don't get a little too greedy. Don't be like, I'll take this coin, I'll not take this coin. <laughs> okay, darlings. <laughs> You deserve all the coins, Capricorn. Of course you do. But, you know, you're going to make those those decisions that bring peace and harmony that are connected to your beautiful sacred heart. Let's get a message from the Love Potion deck. This is a message from your person, sweethearts. And you can find this amazing deck in the crystal store. See the energy? It's so, it's, it's funny. There we go. 
it, it just yeah it's it's quite it, I mean, it's like flippant you know but it's very determined i don't know why the forces were against us you were the only one who sees the real me so somebody you know doesn't really know why things were like they are but they recognize this connection that you guys have they recognize who you are it's like you're you're their you're their one you know you're their person capricorn i realize we are connected beyond what can be explained you know, they are seeing this and that is what is gorgeous. They see this love, this connection that you guys have. It's like cosmically connected. It's very beautiful. Our love is timeless. I feel like it's really over. This depth of feeling is new to me. So they have recognized Capricorn that, you know, you're not focusing on that loss anymore, that you're starting to, or not starting to, you have focused on the positive. You're focusing on the other cups that are, you know, the real deal. And so you're just like, you know, they're feeling like it's over and they're just like, well, wait, wait you know, um, give me, give me time. Like this, this was new to me or, you know, they're like, um, you know, like, give me a break. Like, I'm, you know, I'm learning, I'm doing my best here. It's that sort of vibe. And I just feel like, you know, you really have been patient in this situation. You know, you're an earth sign. It's like you recognize things take time. But you also recognize that, you know, love is timeless and that time is precious. Okay. And so I, I feel like you had to, you know, to move forward to align to that love that, that which lights up your heart. Let's draw an outcome card here. Outcome card with the two. Neighbor of Wands. It's an offer. It's, a, it's an offer of, of passion. Um, you know, there, somebody wants to take you out for dinner. Somebody wants to show you a good time. Somebody wants to make memories. It is an offer of love. It, it's, it's a knight. It's, it's not a king. Um, but, you know, that's that's where, where it all starts, right? And so <laughs> it's sort of like that feeling of um, you're like, you're like Capricorn, you're like, well, let's see where this could go, right? I, I feel like you're you're open to this to this offer, you know, and it's sort of based on where you're at, which is the real deal, the heart, love, passion, joy, that which lights up your heart. Let's draw a message from your twin flame soulmate love connection. Capricorn, look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. We're on a shriveling, swiveling table here. You know, um, you know, if there's something that's making you feel uh, unworthy or feeling like love is hopeless or feeling like what's the point, you know, because that's sort of what I'm getting here. Maybe look inside and be like, what is it? You know, for once and for all, like, what is it within me that's making me feel that way? Of course, we can, you know, think about all the past situations and, you know, blame it on those. But maybe there's something here, Capricorn, that's within, that's ready to be released with the Scorpio full moon. That can bring you to self-love, to knowing that you don't need anything outside of yourself. That all of that love is within. And that's when you see that everything blooms and grows and created. Um, we're going to draw one more and yeah, in line with creation, noticing, oh my gosh, playfulness. That's the one that come out and then I dropped a million cards, but I'm noticing. So laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. So if you're suffering, my darlings, from a broken heart and this offer comes in, then maybe, you know, go for it. Maybe have some fun. Laughter is the best therapy. You know, have some fun. You know, just see where things go, right? That's what brings you back into balance. That's what restores this beautiful rosy heart of yours. It's magic. You know, you are creating with life. Capricorn, I love to see it for you. Let's get one final message from the Passion Deck. I know you're thinking about me and it excites me. Yeah, somebody, this is, it's all passion. <laughs> Honestly, like with all these, these wands and cups, it's very, but it's balanced. You know, we've seen wands, cups, pentacles, we've seen that, we've seen, we've seen a lot. So it's a balanced love. It's an exciting new beginning. I'm wishing you all the love and light, Capricorn. Have a gorgeous blessed now and enjoy this full transformative moon over the next few weeks. And I'll see you soon for your highest timeline reading on Crystal Communications. Ciao for now, darlings.